Lachlan by Aesthetica Designs in the shade RH1488 RT8 was sent to me to review for you by The Beauty Nook. You can download their app on any device and you can also shop their live wig sales every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and you can get those prices all weekend long until 12 a.m. Eastern Sunday night. You have the option to use Sezzle to break down your payments into bi-weekly installments, interest-free, and you can also use my code IBWigandRef to save you 35% off of your first purchase. You can also find The Beauty Nook on Facebook at The Beauty Nook Wick Support and on Instagram at the Beauty Nick Look. If you're looking for me, you can find me in the description box below. Okay, y'all, let's get started. So this is Lachlan in the shade RH1488RT8. And yes, I know that is a long code <laughs> to say, and it's even harder to memorize, but I promise you, I've got it. It's etched in my mind because I've said it so many times over the years because it's the first blonde that I go to. This is in their uh, High Society collection. Um, if you're looking for a cool tone shade in Aesthetica Designs, they are a little bit limited in that. And that's one thing that I wished that they would do is add more cool tones in their selection. That would be amazing. So I think we should all band together, send some emails and some phone calls to Aesthetica Designs and say, we want more cool tones, please. Thank you very much. Uh, because they do beautifully on their, their shades. Um, they've got the cafe collection. Uh, just so many pretty ones, but it's just like we're limited in those blondes. Uh, so if you're looking for um, a warm shade, this is definitely for you. Uh, if you're familiar with John Renault's 12FS8 uh, or Renee of Paris, Creamy Toffee R, that's the direction that you're going in with this shade. So let's look at it. This is a dark honey blonde with light amber gold blonde highlights. It's just really nicely blended in the shade. And then you have a medium brown root. That's an eight root. And it's really nicely blended. It just blends in. You don't have that real harsh line that you see sometimes. It's just nicely blended like you've had some growth. And I, I always choose the the rooted blondes. That's just what I do. And I just feel like it's funny. I mean, when we are, when we have our natural hair, we're like, we don't want the roots. But when we have a wig, we want the roots because it just makes it look more natural. It's just odd, isn't it? But anyway, uh, the lace front is really nicely done. You have a few of those blonde highlights there in the lace. So um, I wish there was more, I really do, but they're there. So I really do like this lace front. It's one of the better lace fronts, honestly, uh, in the Aesthetica Designs. Uh, this is one of my favorites, actually, in their, their lace front. So it's really, really good. Um, and you'll see that this is a, a full mono top. So you can style those bangs lots of different ways. And I'm gonna show you that here at the end of the video, so don't you go nowhere. Uh, but Let's talk about the style and what she looks like when you first get her out of the box. Um, this is the first time that I've put her on my head, but I will say that I did put some dry shampoo on her because it's something about a synthetic wig that's blonde, it tends to have a little bit of a shine. And you know, every time I get the shade, it's the same thing I expected uh, to be a little bit shiny, but it's I mean, you can fix that really easily with some dry shampoo. This is the one that I use. It's IGK. I honestly got it out of my BoxyCharm, y'all. But it works nicely. Um, and you just spray it on that root. And what I'll do is just take that dry shampoo and use my comb and comb it through my fibers because these are synthetic fibers and that cuts down on that shine. And once you've worn this a couple times um, and combed through it, it really does diminish that shine fairly quickly. So that's not a huge issue, I promise. 
There's one other thing that I noticed that when I got her out of the box is this bang um, had a little bit of a, a crimp to it. Now I don't know that might that might be the style. I'm not honestly really sure, but it just seemed like it had a little bit of a crimp, and I just wasn't crazy about the way the bang looked on it. So uh, you can't use a curling iron or flat iron on this because it is a synthetic fiber, but you can use steam or I prefer using a hot air brush. Um, and I put it on low and then just take it through. And you may have to do this a couple times. And then just feather that back. And that's the thing, y'all. When you get a wig out of the box, and there's something about it that you don't like, maybe either if you get a wavy style or the curls and you know, you get that out of the box and you're like, oh my gosh, don't let that scare you because you can, you can normally fix that with, um, with tools like a hot air brush or steam or um, it's most of the time, most of the time you can, fix that wig. Um, unless you just put that on and you think this is not the style for me, it's too long or whatever. Even with that being long, you can cut them. Uh, you could cut the bang, you can manipulate it. Like I've told you all, you know, once you put that wig on your head, don't be afraid to manipulate it, fix it, make it your own because, you know, sometimes you'll put a wig on your head for the first time and you're like, oh, no. But then put it on again, put it on the third time, walk around the house, see what it looks like in the mirror, take some pictures in it. You'll probably discover that you like that wig. I've actually put wigs in a box and forgotten about them and take them out and think, oh, oh, I like this one. I forgot about that one. So don't be afraid. You know, if there's a crimp in that wig from a box head, you can fix that um, really easily. So, uh, I did want to mention that there is some permatease. I find the permateases here in the crown. There's some on the sides. Maybe a little bit at the nape, but mostly it's here on the sides and at the crown, but it's not heavy. It's not a real puffy, pillowy type permatease. And I like it because it does give lift to the crown. I just like lift at my crown. I just don't like it. You know certain styles you just feel like you need a little bit of lift and you know this one is one of those styles I feel like it looks nice with the lift because um, you could slick it down you know make it really straight or get in there use your fingers oh she's sliding on me y'all Use your fingers and move those fibers around and give her some volume, which is what I like. <laughs> That's me. Uh, just take me back to the 80s. I do love her. She's a beautiful style. So let's talk about the lengths. If I didn't do that already, if I did, I'm sorry. This is a 22. This is a 22 inch length from the crown. She has 17 inches on the sides, and actually that is in the back as well. Um, she has a 15 inch nape and a 10 inch bang, and she's 5.343 ounces. She's not heavy. Um, the density is average. Um, not a real dense. So she is pretty peace, y'all. I do like this girl. I like Lachlan. I do. So let's look at her on all sides. I'm going to try to get outside. It is, I hear the thunder, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to make a mad dash and take a 360 outside so y'all can see it um, indoors and outdoors. And then we'll come back and I'm going to show you how you can change the bang um, on this one with the cap construction so don't go nowhere now
Lachlan is a 100% hand-tied monofilament top for a natural look of growth from the scalp and for parting options. She has a wide lace front for off the face styling options and a natural hairline. She has an open wifted cap, bendable ear tabs that help hide the bow hair and allows for custom fit at the temples. She has hook enclosures on both sides of the cap that allow customization of up to one half inch. She has an extended open nape and she has a stretchable cap that will fit up to 23 or more in circumference. And once again, let's look at RH1488 RT8. If you wanted to compare Lachlan to another style, I would compare her to John Renault's Zara or John Renault's Lara. Now, if you're not familiar with Lara, it's because she's a shop exclusive, and you can only find shop exclusives at wig shops. And the Beauty Nook is a wig shop. They're located in Indianapolis, Indiana. So if you're nearby, make sure that you go on in and say hello to Leanne Thompson, which is the owner, and to Wig Daddy, which is Ben. And you can find the shop exclusives there. If you're not nearby, uh, then you can find it on the app. All you have to do is go to the app and pull down shop exclusives, and you'll see a list of wigs that are only available on that app because they are a wig shop and there may be some wigs on there that you've never seen before because they're not available on major wig retailers online so make sure that you check that out okay so let's talk about how you can change the bangs on Lachlan because she is a full mono top which means she's multi-directional so you can take the your comb and go right down the middle and make you a curtain bang. Easy peasy. Or you can take it to the left. When you go this way, you just get like an instant contour to that lace. Or you can take it to the right. And there you go. Because it's a mono top, you have options. So Lachlan is available at the Beauty Nook. Head on over to the app. Make sure that you join those live wig sales every Friday night. And you can use my code IBWigandRef to save yourself 35% off of your first purchase. And if you will, please like and subscribe and hit that bell. That way that you never miss a wig review. I'm Sandy and I thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.